on the menu tonight, the party hoping to spice up the political landscape at the Senate. UKIP's leader in Wales, Nathan Gill, cooks up a vegetarian lasagna and gives me a taste of his vision for the country. Is there an element of racism there? You, you no. hear that a lot. What, what race are we being racist against? I mean, it's ridiculous. At the last assembly election five years ago, UKIP failed to gain any seats. Since then, the party's profile has grown with successes in local and European elections. So could 2016 be the year of a UKIP breakthrough in Wales? Hi, Nathan. Hi, Adrian. Are you ready for this? Absolutely. Are you ready for I'm this? I'm not entirely sure. Well, let's what see are you going to be goes. making? We're going to make lasagna. Okay. It's not been the easiest of campaigns for Nathan Gill. It started back in February with calls by some party members for him to be removed as leader after a row over the selection of candidates. But he's still hopeful that his party's policies will be a recipe for success. So, if you open that for me... I can do that. And I'm going to start over here. I hope it doesn't get any more difficult than this. I can do that. Nathan Gill was born in England and his family moved to North Wales in the early 1980s. He later worked for several years in the family business, running a firm which employed over a hundred people, some of them immigrants. Experience that he says brought home to him the challenges of running a business in modern day Britain. After spending five years working for Wales MEP John Bufton, he was himself elected as a member of the European Parliament in 2014. Of the 40 constituency and 20 regional seats that make up the National Assembly for Wales, none were won by UKIP in the last election. But Nathan Gill says UKIP wants to be a constructive part of the Assembly and can do good things. You used to do the family cooking. Yeah, up, up until getting very heavily involved in politics, I think I probably did about 60, 70% of the cooking. So what's sort of work-life balance like now? Um, I see my family rarely. Thank heavens for Skype and really? things like that. Because you're in Brussels, Brussels Strasbourg? Brussels, Strasbourg, Cardiff, London, Swansea. I spend a lot of time traveling or either by rail or by car. Is that finely diced enough for you? You've done it perfectly. Let's, uh, let me borrow that. Okay. We'll get this started. It can only go downhill from here. Absolutely. So you clearly know your way around the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You clearly, when you get a chance. Yes. You cook. Yeah. Um, do, you find, do you find doing this sort of thing relaxing? Is this a change? I do, I enjoy it. I enjoy um, doing all of the, the homely things, you know. It's not quite like beef. Okay. It, it cooks quite differently. Yeah. So that's a teaspoon and that's half a teaspoon. So what I want you to do, Adrian, yeah. is put in a teaspoon of each of those. You would hope. And then I'm going to get you to do your favourite thing, grating some, uh, some cheese. Oh which I understand you're an expert on. Doing a little bit of stirring, some might say. Yep. That's yep. a description of my I'm job. I'm sure you're very good at that. <laughs> I don't know, you politicians do a pretty good job yourself. Well, we try. Do you find that quite difficult, the, the, the backbiting or backstabbing? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's, um, Sometimes I mean, it's worse from your own party than from opponents, isn't it? I, well, it's definitely worse if it comes from your own party. So given that, why do, you, why do you do it? Why are you in politics? I got involved in politics literally because I wanted Britain to leave the EU. That was the be-all and end-all of it. Simple, single yeah, issue? Yeah, one, one issue. Uh, some people think UKIP is an extremist party. Would you, would you say you're... On the extremes, are you, are you a, no, a right-winger? I really don't understand that. I've never considered myself as being right-wing right, right at all. Um, so, how does somebody go from a single issue, mm -hmm. concerned about uh, Britain's place in Europe, or wanting to see that change, to joining a party, to standing for election, to leading the party? I just got involved, and the more I got involved, the more I realised there were things to do, things that needed doing within the party structure, but also 
you know, politically, I realized that it was more than just the one issue, that politics in Britain is broken. I've got five children, and my kids are in the local schools. We have issues, everybody has issues around health, or will do at some stage in their lives. And I realized that if it wasn't going to be me, who else would do it? So I didn't want to be one of those people who sits in the sidelines and, and gripes and moans and points my finger. Is it a bit ironic that we're making an Italian dish and we've got lots of garlic in it, very European? We're, we're making an Italian dish in Wales and it's a, an American recipe. <laughs> so you're very international when it comes to food. It's Absolutely. Not, and, not... and, and this is what we've said all along, you know, we're not anti-Europe, of course we're not. We're just anti the actual, um, the institutions, we're anti being governed by Europe. Is it working? Just about. I think we're going to have to scrape it out. <laughs> I'm not being very expert at this, am I? Look, see, that bit's good. What have I done wrong, then? I think we put too many in, in at the oh, same time. I thought they would force Just stick it all in there. Oh, okay. so we, we'll get a bite and it'll be quite wow. So, we're not going to be very popular. No, we're not. That's OK, then. Wait, there we go. That's what I was doing wrong. I mean, you keep. I'm used to not being popular. <laughs> you can say that. Yes. Your wife's American. Mm -hmm. um, she people often say that UKIP is anti-immigrant, yeah. um, anti-immigration. My wife's an immigrant. I've employed immigrants. We're not anti-immigration at all. We've said all along, the Australian point system, that's what we, we agree with, that's what we believe with. That's what we want for Britain. But why is it that somebody with no skills at all can just come in from Eastern Europe and it's impossible or very hard to get a doctor to come over who has the skills that we need. Do you want to... Back to the food. Stick you... that in. You grew up in this house, or, you, or you, you, you moved here quite young, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, so I was brought up here. So, how, how Welsh do you feel, or otherwise? I feel very Welsh. I mean, I've, my whole informative life has been here in Wales. Some people think UKIP's all about England, uh, rather than Britain. Um, or if it is about Britain, it's about a greater Britain and not sort of more separation, more difference. Where do you stand on that? Do you think that there is a, there's a case for Wales to be not separate? Because I don't, I know you wouldn't believe that, but uh, more different, more autonomous. Um, yeah, I feel strongly that it's crucial that the devolution works. I don't, I don't believe in giving people powers just for the sake of giving people okay. powers, and I don't believe in devolution just for the sake of it. So you wouldn't support independence? Of course not, no. OK, this is looking good here. Right, we're just going to put I some I think you can have another career. Now. Not yet. Yet. Sorry, more water? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll just let it simmer, okay. and we'll make the white sauce. You are apparently an expert on grating cheese, so <laughs> let's see. As I said in the previous occasion, some people say I've been grating on uh, people's nerves for exactly. a long time. Exactly. So you've got. Okay. Do you want what size do you want? I'll grating? use the bigger one. This one. Yeah. Okay. I can do that. The whole, all this cheese? Both of them. Oh. Right. I'm going to make the, the white sauce. Okay. Now. So basically, it's just cottage cheese and egg. Okay. That's quite simple. Cottage cheese and egg. Yeah. So we're now actually going to make the lasagna. Okay. How do you judge what is a is a good day? What's a, what's been a success for you? What I absolutely love is the 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 one on one part with with the um, you know the the public. We dispel the myths about us. Because people what don't. We're about. People don't trust politicians, or we're told they don't. No, trust absolutely politicians. not, and um, for very good reasons. I don't. I don't trust politicians, and the more you get to meet politicians, the more you can understand why people you don't, don't trust, trust politicians, them. even though you are one. Yeah, that's the bizarre <laughs> thing, isn't it? So. You need to get it to the edges as well, but you can you can do that in a second. Be generous. 
Okay, ready to go in? Let's get her in. Right. So, okay. if you open the oven for yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, time for my glasses to steam up. There we go. Very good. Good work. We'll find out soon. Not too bad, is it? No. Coming up, lasagna is served, alongside UKIP's vision for Wales. We feel that this is a, a, you know, a new chapter for us as a party. It's consensus politics. There could be opportunities for UKIP policies to actually make it. Hi, Nathan. Hi, Adrian. Are you ready for this? Absolutely. I'm eating my way to the Welsh election by inviting myself for dinner with the leaders of the six largest parties in Wales. Tonight, I'm cooking up a vegetarian lasagna with UKIP's Nathan Gill, who's dishing me up his vision for the country. We're not anti-Europe, of course we're not. We're just anti the actual um, the, the institutions. We're anti being governed by Europe. See how it looks. Yeah, well, that's good. not too bad, is it? Yeah. Let's eat then. Let's okay. go. Oh. Let's go for... okay. Very good. It's looking good. It's holding together. As I say, it's that crucial middle bit. I think that's, what, that's what's binding it all together. Yeah. Very good. So, as we tuck into our food, let's take a look at what's on the menu for potential UKIP voters in this election. The party believes that immigration is far too high. UKIP would leave the EU and take back control of our borders. But immigration hasn't been at the centre of the party's campaign in Wales, instead focusing on health, education and the economy. Right, I'll give it a taste, and then I'm going to distract you from eating by asking you uh, more questions. Go ahead. Um, I mean, we've been talking a lot about you, but we also need to talk about you, Kip. Of course. Um, is it just a single issue party? Is it just about Europe? Or is it about something else? Well, initially, absolutely it was. It was all about Europe. It was about getting us out. But here we are. We find ourselves on the verge of our referendum. And we've, as a party, we've actually had to look at ourselves and say, what are we about? And we really realise that we're about more than just the one issue. People say that UKIP are all about privatising the NHS for a very good reason. It, it emerged that Nigel Farage had talked about an insurance-style um, service, an American insurance-style service. Is that what UKIP stands for? No, not at all. I mean, as politicians do, they, you talk about ideas and you see what is possible and what may be something that's viable to keep the NHS going. The reality is we would never privatise the NHS because it wouldn't work. It would affect too many people negatively. We can afford it. We just need running better. What would you do differently then to the NHS in Wales? How would you how would you run it better? I would like to see the GPs actually receive the ability to order certain scans and certain um, things which now they have to seek permission for, and then it, you get a huge backlog. If people feel that they can go to the NHS, go to their doctor, and actually get seen to while they're still ill with the ailments. You know, instead of, we'll come back in, in 12 weeks' time and... So you'd cut out sort of layers of, 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 of bureaucracy, I suppose. We would allow those people who know what they're doing to actually do it. OK. I should say this lasagna is very good. How does it compare to your usual lasagna? That's the... Uh... I think in all honesty, my wife's is slightly better, but it's good. Despite or because I was involved in the preparation of it? Probably despite. <laughs> the other big issue in the assembly election has got to be education. Mm -hmm. It's the, the, the second biggest area, I suppose, of concern yeah. uh, um, in Wales. What would UKIP do differently about education and running it? There's, there's lots of areas uh, within education that do need looking at, and I think everybody acknowledges that. Before devolution, Wales was doing very well on the international, you know, the PISA tables, and we've slipped, and we've slipped quite significantly. The focus of all of our education is at getting kids to university when that's not necessary. I've got a lot of children, and my children, I realise, are all very different. One size fits all doesn't fit all. It, it doesn't work. We would like to see a, a close tie between the universities 
and through colleges to, to create what we're going to call Technium Colleges, where through, through a, a, a form of higher education, the, the, the students can actually um, get the, the skill set that they're going to need for their careers, for their lives. And it doesn't necessarily have to be academic. Why, why the focus on academia? When you talk about a return to grammar schools or a return to selection, however you want to put it, um, doesn't that give uh, ammunition to UKIP's critics who say that actually what you're about is going back to a golden age uh, that never really existed? There are things about the past which are great, and you say maybe didn't exist, but we're, we're so future-looking, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you take the EU, the EU was a solution to the 1960s and 1970s. It's long since gone. What problem in the world today would you create an EU for in order to, to fix? We can trade with the entire world. We want to look forward. We want to look, look beyond our own borders, beyond the borders of just Europe. We can trade with Europe, and we will continue to trade with them. We can all continue to go on holiday there. Since you've brought up Europe, uh, and, and we can't ignore it, uh, you don't want to ignore it, other, other politicians don't, it's important to say that the Assembly election is not about the European Union no. referendum, that's a separate thing. Is the whole debate about the EU, as far as UKIP is concerned, really about immigration? No, um, when, I, when I joined UKIP, Immigration wasn't really an issue at all. I joined UKIP because of the sovereignty of our nation. For a lot of UKIP members, it is about immigration. Um, I think a lot of people who have joined recently, there is a lot of fear about the uncontrolled, unsustainable aspect of immigration. Is there an element of racism there? You, you yeah. hear that a lot. Uh, what, what race are we being racist against? I mean, it's ridiculous. The suspiciousness uh, of any, uh, any... I remember being, being, being called a racist, and I, I said, well, what race am I being racist against? And they said, Eastern Europeans. I said, what, white Caucasians? You know, it, it's, it's ridiculous. It's literally about, do we have the space and the ability? Do we have the infrastructure? Do we have the schools, that, the hospitals, the doctors? Do we have the, uh, the housing? for people to live in and the work for them. So just to open up our doors uncontrolled to allow anybody from an area where 500 million people live to say, yes, you can come and live here and we won't stop you. It's madness, it's nonsense and everybody can see that. We've just let ourselves get distracted by the EU referendum and issues around it, but I want to go back to issues to do with that. And the economy is, is really important. What would UKIP do to make the economy of Wales better? It's about making an environment where businesses can flourish and thrive. And there are certain things within Wales and within Britain which are a problem. Things like business rates, the expenses, the, the cost of setting them. And I think what we need to do is make it so that if you have an idea if you want to run with that idea and risk your house and, and your own fi personal finances on it, then it shouldn't be the role of government to get in the way. It should be the role of the government to get out of the way and to make it possible for you to do that with as few barriers and hindrances as possible. Since I've come to the end of uh, my dinner, um, coming to the end of the questions, um, UKIP is is, although has been around for a while, is in, in electoral terms is still a relatively new party. You've yeah. had a teething problems, I think mm -hmm. it's fair to say. What sort of, um, well, assuming you have assembly members, what sort of assembly group would you be? We feel that this is a, a, you know, a new chapter for us as a party. It's consensus politics. There could be opportunities for UKIP policies to actually make it. Would you take part in a coalition if that, if that, uh, I mean, there's a lot of I would be bets. extremely surprised if we ever came in the situation. A lot of the other parties don't want to work with you. Exactly. And um, if they did, would you be willing to? If work? it was for the benefit of, of getting UKIP policies put through, then we would have to look very, very seriously at that. We're not just against everything, we, we've got a lot that we're for. And that's the difference. Now. Do you think UKIP's on the verge of a breakthrough? We believe we are on the verge of a breakthrough. It's, um, let's face it, it, it is proportional representation. It's a list system. The percentage that we need is, is fairly low in order to, to make that breakthrough. It is genuinely about now improving the lot of the people here in Wales in the way that we feel it needs to be improved. We feel strongly that 
16 years of devolution has failed the people of Wales. If it wasn't the case, the NHS wouldn't be in the situation it's in, our education system wouldn't be where it is, you know, we'd be much higher on those tables. So we can improve and we believe that by getting in there and being that strong opposition, holding the government, the Welsh government to account, that we can actually improve, improve things for everybody. Nathan, thank you very much for the lovely food, although I think it was my contribution that really made it. Without a doubt. Thank you for answering all these questions and uh, spending the afternoon explaining you're what you're hoping from this election. Thank you. Big Man Tyrone here. Make sure to subscribe to the Wicked Awesome Robin Hood YouTube YouTube website. He exposes the leftist crops on the British Brainwashing Corporation. <laughs> Nice. <laughs>